it's the end of the day and I got a little sunburned because of the sun. That's the moon. <laughs> I thought I might find a good natural remedy against sunburn. But in all fairness, I'm not here to talk with you about covering myself up in mud. Although some of you might find this comforting because you know me from the peanut butter period. Now today I want to talk with you about newsletters. You see, I have the feeling that I need to start a newsletter, but I don't want to. You see, here's the deal. I don't just want to tell you what's coming up. I want to talk with you about what's really going on and not just art-wise. There are so many things I would have loved to know before I graduated. I want to really have a connection with you people. I want to communicate with you. I think it's time that we get together and reinvent the newsletter. We're creative enough people to do that, right? I should have started this a long time ago. So let's just do this. Come on, start the video. In the past two months, I've been in Norway having a solo exhibition at the Heimdall Kunstforening. Heimdall is situated right next to Trondheim, which allows us to visit the location where Skauhit stood between 2016 and 2017. Now, it's no longer here, it's in the Netherlands, but there are plans to do something with Skauhit in 2020 and plans to do something similar but different. Maybe something that has to do with the water. Now, I said we're going to do things differently. I propose I'll take you along with me on this project. Share its development step by step. So let's start with some background, a short introduction, let's say, to the project, so you know where I'm coming from with this. This is Rothenberg Platt, a small island in the north of the Netherlands. Now, in 1971, two Dutch writers, Gottfried Bomans and Jan Wolkers, each spend a week on this little speck of land. They had a direct connection through a radio show where every day they would give a short report on their experience. You see, the thing is, Rotemerplaat is pretty barren. There is no inhabitants and, well, it's one of the few places in the Netherlands that we, you could actually call wilderness. So the common story here is that Gottfried Bowmans absolutely hated the experience and Jan Walkers absolutely loved it. And during the Xkawit project, people very often refer to that project from the 1970s. Now, I would really like to go and visit Rotemerplaat, but the thing is, it's a natural reserve and I don't have permission. But the next best thing that I can do is I can go and explore the Waddenzee. To do that, I have to find a way to navigate around this region. And yes, that means boats. We should do something with boats. But I have a little problem as I don't know anything about sailing, let alone own a boat. So to get to the actual stage of exploration... Well, we need to start from exploration into the world of boating first. Thus, in the future I'll be making videos about this project, taking you with me, show you the background of it and how I try to alternate between perspectives on the subject. And hopefully we can turn it into a successful project in the end. But enough about what's about to come. Let's look at some stuff that's been going on in the past half year. Starting 2019, I visited several artists at their studios all across the Netherlands. Oh, hello. These visits were in relation to a video series covering the Next Step artist development program of Kunstelab in Deventer. This is something I plan to continue, so prepare for more of these videos in the future. Now, as mentioned before, I had a solo exhibition in Norway, and I made several new works, especially for this show. My first fire! All in one starter pack! But I also got to give a lecture at the University of Trondheim, the NTNU, and I did some sound workshops. Not to forget an audio performance in Worm Rotterdam at Tech Art at Art Rotterdam, and I got to help test an artist in residence program that I helped to set up at Saxon University in Enschede. Okay, that's enough about the past, one more for the future. We've been working on something really big, something really exciting for the past 
several years and it's almost done and I can't say too much about it yet so oh, it makes for a great cliffhanger. Thank you.